Hi, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace, and you know it's not too early to be thinking about the good things uh, that have happened in 2021 and things that might have could have gone better. So I thought I would post about a couple of things that have worked really well for me in 2021 as far as, I guess, some habits that I've created. Uh, and, and two things really stand out in my mind as I reflect uh, back on this year. Uh, and first is... Uh, Hunter Thompson, uh, through his mastermind, Ray's Masters, uh, recommended time blocking. Now, I've been a lifelong entrepreneur, sort of a solo operator. Uh, even when I've been with other companies, I've just really been so solo and just constantly had these tasks that I would move forward for weeks and weeks. Uh, this concept of time blocking it's not new. I'd heard of it before, but this is the year that I actually implemented it and started planning my week and, and blocking out time on my calendar to take care of things that we're probably never going to get taken care of. So that's one. The other one is a book by Dan Sullivan, uh, Who Not How, that um, it, it's for a person like me, it's a revolutionary concept. Uh, if uh, When something needs to get done, you find the person who needs to do it not necessarily learn how to do it. Of course, you should understand the basic principles. How else can you manage it and make sure it's being done right? But uh, again, as the solo operator, um, whenever something new needed to be added to uh, my business, I was the one doing it. You know, uh, and so I've taken off the IT hat and the social media hat and the other marketing hats and, and, and really have learned to delegate these things to other people. And it has really tremendously allowed me to focus on things that are actually generating revenue uh, and wealth for Harvard Grace. So just a couple of things to think about. I would love to hear some of the things that uh, y'all have accomplished this year. So uh, let's start a conversation. And uh, as we head into the Thanksgiving week, I hope that y'all have a great one. Thanks.